Okay guys, the new stance works. DLC is out for Project Cars. Also includes the um, Supercar V8 as a free car. I'm gonna give you a little preview of it of this now. This was just done last night. I was very tired. Didn't do any setup. Just left it on default setup. Had no assists on still. Um, I literally did an out lap and then went for a lap basically on time trial. Just, just, just to get, just to basically, I did one lap. Get used to and then just went for a, a reasonable lap. Nothing special as you can see from these laps here now. This was the um, second lap I did in the in the 1M coupe, which handled pretty nice. It's um, for a road car. Not got tons of um, corner ability, but I think it's down to the setup. The setup doesn't feel right to me. I think there's a lot of time to be made with the setup for, the, for this car, for a lot of the cars in this pack actually. Um, it's, the engine sounds amazing. I mean, if you just listen to the engine through some of it, I'll. Um, I'll stay quiet for a bit in a minute when it gets onto a straight and just let it let you hear the actual engine sound that it creates. It sounds really nice. Um, I'll let you just hear it through this straight bit now and I'll just be quiet for a bit. That's a bit of the engine sound, and obviously the setup I was running was it was the stand setup. I, there was too much brake pressure on. There was it was basically wasn't set up for no assist, so can't really judge how it's going to handle properly. But I thought I'd give you a little preview of that car, and then I'll show you the replay of that lap I just did there, just so you can watch the car from these angles. You see there, I was locking up into that corner, so a lot of work to be done for that setup, obviously, but. I'll let you have a little listen to the car now from the replay because you get more of an impression for the sound now and then we'll move on to the next car. Okay, so we're now on to the BMW 2002 Stance, Work, Stance Works Edition. Another car that's back from an older car, um, I think it's been modified up by the Stance Works group, and obviously the brakes, are, everything was wrong for the setup. Yet again, I just wanted to get some footage out for you guys just so you can see it. This car, I think, would be really fun actually. It's, it's got it's got some speed for how old it is, so it's got quite a bit of power. Um, as you see there, 
the back is quite tail happy as you'll see when I get to one of the bends further up. Handles okay though, I think with a setup and um, obviously the right tune, maybe, I don't know whether you might be using ABS, would probably make it a bit more enjoyable, but with it off is how it should be, really. So you can see when we get to the bend, the um, left hand you're at the top of the hill up here, back end kicks out a bit, but it was quite controllable. It wasn't like you once it was gone it was lost, it was actually catchable and I, I quite enjoyed this car to be fair. Like I say, only did one pra like literally one lap practice there, as you can see at 2 minutes 13, which is well off the time I think, and then we did a, a quick proper lap just to go for it and see what reasonable time, nothing special as, as you can tell by the lap, it's just literally getting in the car and going for a lap, two laps, didn't have a clue how it was going to handle really, um, but it was great fun. Again, I'll let you have a little listen to the engine from inside the car now, and then I'll come back and um, we'll watch the replay and I'll do the same there. like to do a league race in this I think it'd be quite fun but maybe on VR room they, they do some um, one-off races so that might be quite fun if they decide to do something like this Um I'll let you have a little look at the replay again and listen to the engine properly throughout the replay and then we'll move on to the next car again I think the next one I've got up is the V8 supercar Um a great car we'll have a good look at that in a minute So the free car, the 2013 Ford Falcon FG, it's the supercar V8. This is this is the favourite car out of all the, the um, new cars that have come out, and it's the free car. This car is going to be big online, I think. It's a, I, I'm thinking it might be a little bit slower than their um, GT3 over a track, purely because of the weight. Um, it may need a good setup. I only did two laps, as you can see. I think. Um, a mistake on one, it might have been three laps actually, I think I did one lap 203, then a mistake and then this final lap here, but the setup again, you can feel it's not right, um, there's probably plenty of time to come off this lap, maybe a few seconds, three or four, but I know with a GT3 you can get in the 153s, I don't think this V8 is going to do that, but with it being a little bit slower, 
it's fast on the straight, so you've just got to be a bit more cautious through the bends. So I think it'll be really good online because it, it seems to have plenty of grip. It's not like it's sliding all over the place. It's, it's reasonably easy to drive. So for online races, this car is going to be very big. And with it being free, everyone's going to have it. So we could see some really um, big communities building up through this um, V8 car. And I can imagine there's going to be some league racing going on in this. And I'll be definitely looking at some league racing for this car because it's, it's so enjoyable to drive. Anyway, I'll let you guys have a little listen to the engine again because it's another car that sounds really good in the game. I really like this car. So I'll let you, you just have a little listen to the engine and then watch the replay and then we'll move on to the next car. And it's got the track on there as well, the new track. In, and the new of a new car is a KTM Expo R, a car that I've actually played with on Drive Club quite quite a bit, and it's quite twitchy on Drive Club. But what I found in on on this is that it's got a good amount of grip and it handles really well. It's probably one of my favourite road cars that I've driven so far. Now, I think you'll find it really enjoyable. And this track is a really good track. It, it reminds me of Drive Club. This track as well. It, it just feels very drive clubby this track the way that it's laid out the bumps the um, bends the scenery it all feels a lot like drive club scotland location um obviously the visuals are not on par with drive clubs because drive clubs obviously running at a lower frame rate and can incorporate a lot more visual visuals into their game but still looks good on on project cars this it looks really nice and especially when you go through the um little town area past the pub and um, you'll see this was my first lap I didn't do any practice I just went straight on did one lap so I just tried to keep it on the track I was braking extremely early I didn't have a clue where I was going I was just looking at the map to, as some form of guidance in the top left just to see what type of bends were coming up and it obviously you can't push round, round corners when you don't know the track so I was just keeping the car on the track and I was quite surprised how easy it was to do because the car just handled so well 
Um, I really, I really like this track. This is going to be a track that'll be great for time trialing because pushing it over the corners and some of these corners with the bumps in and the cars are going to be jumping in the air, sliding around the track. This is a really good track. This is probably worth. This track is worth the price of the DLC, to be fair. And this car with it, I'm not. The, the other stuff in the pack's okay, but it's. I still say the cars are not as good as last month's. The, that the Renault Sport pack for me has been the best car pack so far, but this track's the best track. Well, one of the best tracks that's been added, to be fair. I really like this track. And to be fair, they've added the best free car they've added since the free cars have been going. So we can let them off with that. So we've got quite a few nice cars to drive and a nice new track. And that will leave me on to the next. I'll le I'll just leave it to play at the end. I've just included a little clip of the um, the drift car. I didn't drive it. But, well, I drove it and I just spun around the circles. So I I'm not a drifter. It's, it's just it'd need major setup work for me to get you any video worth watching otherwise you'd just be watching me spin around in a circle not that keen on it to be fair it's not not my type of car it's gonna be it's got like 1200 horsepower in a little Mazda MX-5 and it, it just spins so um I've just included that at the end of this so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna um leave you guys to watch the video and, uh, and I hope that this has give you a little preview of the content of the the new track the um new cars and I hope it helps you make a decision in where whether you'll purchase it. I mean, I personally think it's worth it. Just just about worth it with this track and a, and a couple of the cars. So, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to support my video by giving me a like and a subscribe if you like what you've seen. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks, guys.